So, for the eyeliner that comes in this collection, it's a liquid liner. Um, it's called Why Not? And I really liked this, and I regret that I left it uncapped <laughs> so it is completely dried out it was so pretty i'm gonna have to order another one because i love this color and i would wear this as a liquid liquid liner regularly but because i am a silly mess i left it uncapped and now it doesn't work anymore so instead of using that i'm gonna use the ColourPop um gel gel color liner is that what it's called It's breaking everywhere. It's not really allowing me to line on my lid as easily as the liquid liner did. So, I'm trying to be very careful so it doesn't break apart again and crumble everywhere. It's not good. Just be very gentle. Alright. For my lashes, I used the ColourPop Volumizing, BFF Volumizing Mascara. I have not used these much, um, but when I did use it last time, I did like it a lot, but I felt like I needed lashes on top of this look, so I might add some. I've never been a lash girl until I created a lash brand <laughs> now it's like oh lashes actually kind of complete the look okay so that's all the eye products that are in here and then the last products that I want to show you guys are the super shock cheekies is that what these are called yeah so these are new to me like I didn't realize they had a cheek product that's kind of like a cream cream blush I guess I haven't been paying attention <laughs> um, but I did try all of these and I like these shades a lot I will say I've never really tried a blush this deep color so I'm gonna show you guys what they look like the darkest one is called Cheerio which looks like this and this is very red for me like I felt daring to use that <laughs> um, but it goes so well with the eyeshadows and then this one is called cruel intentions I feel like it's a more pink almost like a hot pink and then this one is called root fruit root flute super shock cheek pearlized so this is a pearlized one I felt like it's more like a highlight even though it's kind of a pink color I mean I feel like this is similar to a lot of blushes that I wear the powder blushes that I wear that's kind of like that peachy peachy color with the hints of golden shimmer um, you know sort of like NARS orgasm um, I really like that shade as well so what I'm gonna use today on this look I did use all three colors last time but this time I'm gonna use Cheerio and the pearlized one because I felt like the cruel intentions one was too pink for this you don't need to use a lot of this it applies really well um, you can use just your finger and blend it in that way so that was that was the trio and this one is called root root I don't know why this color just seems so much stronger than last time like these blush colors but um i haven't put on any powder yet so the powder is going to probably bring that down a little bit okay so those are all the products from the collection but i will say that i wonder why this collection didn't have any lip products which everyone who um reviewed this product said the same thing like this collection really needed a lip but I do have some colored pop products that I'm going to be using on lips. So yeah, anyway, <laughs> had to take a little sip in between there. So the color pop 
lip products I will be using. They recently sent me these in the um, stash cups which I'm so grateful for. They sent me like an entire collection of lippy, lippy pencils and lippy sticks. So um, this is the lippy pencil in X Factor. And what I will say about these, I've never tried the lippy pencils before and I was in the, there was a ColourPop group on Facebook, someone had asked how to sharpen them. So I wasn't aware that they have kind of a funny uh, casing to them um, so I'm glad that someone pointed that out for me because you can get the color pop pencil sharpener um, from the website and that will work best for it or um, there's certain types of pencil sharpeners but I would probably go with the color pop one Very smooth application, no fuss. Um, and then this is the Lippy Sticks. The color is called I Love This. I love this matte. I heart this matte. This was my first time trying the Lippy Sticks product. Um, I know that it's one of their popular shades and the or popular products in the past um, that I just never got around to trying. Um, but it's not like a lipstick, it's, to me, it's more like a lip crayon. It even has like this kind of clay smell to it. But I love like how opaque the color is, how much color payoff. Because I was expecting the lippy sticks to be more sheer. Or it could just be that this one's matte, I guess maybe they have like different types of formulas, but I like this a lot. The only other lip crayon that I really loved was from NARS, so I'm excited to try more of these ColourPop Lippy Sticks. So yeah, that's the lip that I'm doing for this look, and then what I'm going to do is finish up the rest of this complexion. Um, now that I put the cream blushes on, I wanted to use a powder setting, setting powder. This is Juvia's Place. I am Magic Setting Powder in White Sands is the name of this. Oh, I might be almost out. I'm getting really low on this, uh, this powder. So I'm going to use a fluffy brush. Perfect. Oh, I love that setting powder a lot. It's like so nice. Um, and then I'm just going to be using this Absolute New York um, Contour Strobing and Shading Highlight and Contour Palette. This is my favorite highlight and contour palette. Um, for me, it's just the colors here. These two on the end are perfect. Like, the highlight's perfect. It doesn't have, like, a pink shift or a golden shift. It's, like, I guess, like, yeah, this is just white. <laughs> but I love the highlight color. And then the contour which is the shade Belize is the perfect shade for me it's great for fair complexions without being too dark too murky like it's gray it's gray based but it's not like it looks like shadow to me so I also have a affiliate code for Absolute New York and I do earn a commission from Absolute New York um, you can save 10% off of your order with my code JRENE10 and I will also post a link for you on my affiliate link so that you can go there if you would like to purchase any Absolute New York products. I typically don't contour on a regular day um, because I feel like it's pointless for like just an everyday look that you're going outside with but if you're taking photos um, I may do a little highlight and contour just for the photos, for the photograph, um, to bring out features and the lighting and shading of the photo, which I will talk more about this, um, you guys know I'm just, people tell me I'm too serious and I talk too much, <laughs> but I really just 
try to share information that you may find useful. So I think that's what we're here for as beauty content creators is to help you um, discover products that you may want to use and how to use them. So that's why I do what I do. Okay, I want to blend out the eyes a little bit more. That's pretty much it for this look. And I do like this collection a whole lot, so let me know what you guys think of the collection, if you would like to try it or if you've tried it already, any comments that you have about the products that I used or products that you think I should try. Follow me on social media at jrenejrene. I am on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, and Pinterest, and just everywhere. Like, if you guys are interested in those things, follow me there, and... Make sure that you like and subscribe to my channel. Make sure you hit the bell so that you get the, the so that you get the notifications for my next videos. You don't want to miss them. And please let me know any feedback in the comments below. I truly appreciate it, and I'm here to bring you guys more beauty, more art, more uh, jump rope fitness coming soon. <laughs> and hopefully you guys love it. Thanks for watching. Bye.